What's happening, it's Brie Gang. We are coming to you live. But not live. From inside the London studio, our home. And today we've got another fun. Shopping challenge really hard. <laughs> some people are a bit too excited. So, some of you lovely Free Gang suggested a video to us that we are so excited to do. So, this isn't just your regular shopping challenge, but this is going to be a shopping challenge where it is kid versus teen. <laughs> And their task is they have to pick one item from every aisle in the supermarket. No way, really? Yes. And it's up to you. He's gone. And it's up to you guys to vote on who you think chose the best items. So yeah, it's down to you guys to let us know in the comments below now. Let us know who do you think will win this challenge, Jamie or Jojo? Jojo, according to you guys, but in the comments, seemed to have won the last one, the um, clothes shopping challenge where you two had to buy each other's outfits. He was given the vote on that, but I think it's still 3-2 to Jamie. Who do you think is going to win, Jamie? Me. <laughs> I knew it was She's win. even, she, the whole time she was contemplating going, they said, I lost? That doesn't register for me. <laughs> they must have meant Jamie. So yes, it's going to be down to you guys to decide now, but are you guys excited for this? Yeah. I forgot yeah. my shopping bag. Oh, don't worry, we'll oh, lend you some shopping bags. No, I've got a shopping no, bag. I have, I have a new shopping bag. They're like coloured and then they go into the trolley over the side and then you've got like one, two, three, four. Oh, that's You have a red one, a green one, an orange one and a blue one. Have you not used them yet? No. Oh, this could have been the first time. I'm sure you'll get another time. We have to do another challenge in we? Bring them home so we can use them next time. Yes. Don't leave them at your boyfriend's house. Right, so you two ready then? Take that as a yes. Let's go. Yeah. So remember, guys, it is one item per each aisle. Okay, remember that. So Jojo, you're going to start at aisle number one, and Jamie, you're going to start at the highest aisle. Mummy, you're going to go with Jamie. I'm going to go with Jojo. So without further ado, let's get it started. Well, Jojo, you're in your aisle already. You go away. We're in number one. What are you going to get? Good stuff. Okay, that's aisle number one done. Awesome. All right, so what aisle is this, Jamie? 38. 38. 38. What are you going to get from here? Oh, free fruit for kids. You're a kid. I'm not a kid anymore. You are. I'm not. I'm not, Mum. My child. She's growing up. <laughs> Broccoli. Broccoli. Good, healthy start, Jamie. That's to be healthy woman. <laughs> oh, yeah. Aisle number two is toilet rolls and pet food. Toilet rolls. Lots of things are blowing noses right now, isn't there? Right, aisle 37. So we're back in the car. And no, we haven't finished. We're back very, very prematurely because Tesco's did not like us filming in there today. That is so weird. Like we promote their store so much. We've done about 10 videos in there. I swear. Yeah, and we're always saying how good they are, how good their prices are, how good their staff are. And all of a sudden they're just like, Nope. I'm like, no. you're filming us on CCTV all around the place. And plus, we're only focusing on ourselves. And I heard that it was legal to to video yourself anywhere. as it long completely as you're, is. Yeah, private property <laughs> anywhere, as long as you focus on yourself. We made sure we found that out. But yeah. Well, Tesco's is the one losing out today, because now we're going to go to Sainsbury's instead. Yes. Let's go. Eventually. So now we're in Sainsbury's car park. You remember the rules, guys? Mm -hmm. They're munching on bourbons that they got from Tesco's. They did, Tesco didn't mind us getting those bourbons. And so it's one item per each aisle. One thing I forgot to mention, so we can track this, we're going to write the number on the packet of each item, just so we know we've got one item from each aisle. Lucky Shop. we got kicked out of Tesco's, because yes. otherwise... I got a chance to explain that then. Yeah. It was all meant to be. Right, are you guys ready? Bourbon faces? Yeah, eat your bourbons, Let's then we're try, going. Let's try and keep the filming on the down low this yeah. time. Shh. We're not really going in there. So Jojo, the first aisle we're in is the meat aisle. This is going to be tricky. Sainsbury's. Let's hope they don't kick us out of here. No. <laughs> Out pro yogurt. Out pro yogurt, eh? Hey? Cool. Let's go for that then. All right. That's four aisles done. Right, Jamie. So we're in Sainsbury's. Okay, Jojo, aisle number six. This should be easy. It's all cereal. Cool. Chuck it in the trolley. What aisle is this, Jamie? Aisle 30. You got something from 31. And 30. So we're in aisle 30. So we're going backwards. The other guys are going forwards. No, 
not Brussels sprouts. No, put them back. No, 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 no. Put them back immediately. Are you really gonna get, are you gonna eat them? No, you are. Do not get them, do not get them. Doing well so far, Jojo. Now it's about tea, coffee, and long life milk. You're going for tea bags. You don't even drink tea, but yet you go for tea bags. Yeah, Mama could drink tea. <gasps> Get out! <laughs> They're announcing that you should go away. Now, Jojo, this is a biscuit aisle. We could do really well here. Oh, yeah! Those are so nice. Get them in there, get them in there. I'm sorry, I'm influencing you now. You're gonna weigh one Brussels sprout. Yeah. Oh my goodness. How am I gonna write a number on a Brussels sprout? Well, you're not gonna be able to write a number on it, are you? you? Have to. This is another aisle you enjoy, Jojo. Crisps. Oh, a dream come true. A dream come true. <laughs> Steady on. Instead, you could get popcorn. Would you like popcorn instead, would you? Yeah. What's this aisle 29? What are you getting? I don't know what these are. Pecans. I well, I haven't got a nutcracker, Jamie. I really haven't got a nutcracker. Oh no, Jojo, what aisle are we down now? Alcohol. What are we gonna do? We don't drink alcohol. <laughs> what, have you just spotted something? Spicy <laughs> Oh my goodness, how lucky is that? That is so lucky. This is the baby aisle. What are we yeah. gonna get down here? Don't be ridiculous. We haven't There's got a, a baby. We There's haven't got to put them back. Okay, Jojo, we're on the other side of the supermarket now, so we are halfway. This aisle is all frozen food and ice creams. What did you get? I got Cornetto. Oh, one Cornetto, give it to me. I don't think you got much choice down this aisle, Jamie. Yeah, I know. It's like I get a magazine. toilet roll or toilet roll. And you got toilet roll. So Jojo, aisle number 20 now. Done so many aisles already, haven't we? This is all tinned food and sauces and gravy and stuff. Vinegar. We should have got some chips. <gasps> what is with all these cleaning products aisles? We need the food. We want the food aisles. At least we get these ones over, over and done with quickly. That's very true. What is it, Jojo? Pet food. Oh, no. In Tesco's, you got a toy, didn't you? So maybe you could get a toy here instead. What are you doing? We don't even have a dog. An advent calendar for a dog. Oh, I'm so cute. Jamie, I know someone with a dog. Should we get a dog, dog toy for someone? Go on then, get that. I can. I know somebody who'd like that. Stop squeaking it. We've, we've already got kicked out of one place. I don't want to get kicked out of another. Jojo, we're in all the aisles where they don't do food now. So we're gonna have to really think. And we've got the food aisle. Finally! Now we've got the aisle where there's loads of toilet roll. You would think that would be the obvious thing, but you're looking at magazines as well. Also, I wish I was a Lego aisle. A Lego aisle? Uh, yeah, it just had tons of Lego and nothing else. Yeah, that'd be hard to choose from, wouldn't it? That would eat. What have you found then? This. A Minecraft magazine and fun yeah. pack. Yeah. Only you, eh? There are so many things. So many things you want down this aisle? Yeah. You can only choose one. I know I have. Oh no, pharmacy aisle. Yeah, there's probably nothing we need down here. Maybe there's a present for someone you could get. Yeah, a toothbrush present. Maybe. Uh oh. What? This one's going to be tricky. Not really. No, because you're not getting alcohol. But I'm allowed to. I know you're old enough, but not with my money. <laughs> Just try and find a non-alcoholic drink. Oh no, baby food, baby toilet. Nappies. Oh no, are you a baby anymore? This is the last non-food aisle, so it'd be good if you found something down here. You've got to have a good look around. There might be other things for like just kids as well. I could get a rubber duck from the penguins in the bath. So a, a duck for you in the bath? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> What's a bath without a yellow rubber duck, eh? Exactly. So I think all that's left, Jojo, is the fruit and veg aisles. That should oh, be easy. That's easy. Yeah. Let's see, coming in. Another alcohol aisle. Jamie, yeah. they got nuts in the alcohol aisle. Where? There, look. No way. What is it? Mixed grapes. All different it's kinds. Black ones, the green ones, and also the red ones. Cool. Jamie, it's the meat aisle. <laughs> it's the meat aisle. What are we going to do? <laughs> Sushi at the end of the meat aisle. 
Is it actually considered in the aisle? Yes. I think I think it is. It is actually in the aisle. So you're all done now, Jojo. All done. And the third one aisle in the supermarket. That's a lot of aisles. Should we go to the checkout then? Yeah. And so we are back. We made it out of the supermarket with everything we intended to get. Yay! How did everyone find that? It was alright. Not for me. It wasn't alright for you? Yes. Yeah. So tricky! It's tricky. One thing I think we can guarantee there's variety. Katie's behind the camera now because we think there won't be enough space for all of us. Don't come in front of the camera. Get out of here. Get out. She was being constantly bothered in the supermarket for her pink hair. People were saying how beautiful it was. And we were all very annoyed at that. We want his attention. What we're going to do, we're going to go through what you guys got aisle by aisle. So, logically, we're going to start with aisle one. Show us what you got. Jamie was ready. She got sushi and Jojo got sesame coated caramel peanuts. Jamie seems to go, be going straight into the sushi. And you're opening your peanuts as well. We're not going to be opening every single product. So this aisle was the meat aisle, which I thought, because we don't eat meat, I thought we're not going to get anything from that. So we were quite lucky there was a specialist area at the end of the aisle, which is sushi and peanuts. Lucky the sushi came first, Jamie, eh? Mm. These bad boys are really good. You're all right, yeah. So let's get things moving along. Show us what you got for aisle two. Oh, Linda McCartney sausages and Linda McCartney scampi bites as well. Linda McCartney did well in aisle two. These will make some good dinners. Okay, aisle three, let's go. Jamie's right on it. Whoa, Vitalite. You dancing along with me? Do you even know the advert? No. no. Comment below if you remember the Vitalite advert. Well, that was amazing. I've one olive now. And oh, Jojo got olives as well, which he's I, getting into. I, no, I, you're not. Wow. That's horrible. Okay, aisle number four, please. What did you get? So we got, for Jamie, you got cocoa dairy free milk. We like that stuff. And Jojo got a soya based strawberry yogurt from Alfro. Good stuff, guys. I will definitely be having some of that. Number five, guys, what did you get? <laughs> this is obviously an aisle that did juice. So, what you've got, juicy and zingy orange juice. And Jojo's got orange mango and passion fruit juice. Aisle oh, number six, Jamie is not wasting any time. She's going for it. Baby. So, yeah, this was the cereal. Not the same thing. The cereal aisle. <laughs> Of all of the cereals you could have got, you both got the same thing. That's crazy. You both have very good taste or similar taste. Pink and maple crisp cereals. Good stuff, guys. Okay, number seven. Donut. Oh, flaxseed. We like a bit of these. Yeah, we like a good bit of flax. And jo donuts. Raspberry jam donuts. We're so happy that these ones are vegan as well. Can't wait to get into those. This is just basically everything lined up for me to eat. Thank you. Oh, are you moving on to number eight already, are we? Come on, Jamie. There's bread. This was obviously the bread aisle. You've got bread as well. Okay, number nine, Jojo, you've gone way ahead. Tea bags, you've got tea, but you've got Yorkshire tea and PG tips. This is a biscuit brew. Obviously designed for dipping in biscuits. No, it tastes like biscuits. It tastes like biscuits? Are you sure? Yeah, you don't need no biscuits because it tastes like biscuits. That's crazy. We're yeah, having some of that. Biscuit galore if you dip biscuits in it. Okay, number 10. So this was like a sweetie aisle. <laughs> So yes, Skittles, true. Oh, actually, both of these packs we had around our friend Jane's house when we were staying up in Derby. Yeah, we didn't know these ones were vegan as well, so that's great that we can have both of these. Okay, so number 11. Oh, yeah, this is like Biscuity Bites one. Hobnobs, chocolate chip hobnobs. Again, our friend Jane, we only discovered these around her house. Love them. I kind of thought I said, oh, look, Jojo, look what there is. So I might have persuaded him to get those. And you've got sesame grissini breadsticks. Really like these kind of breadsticks. Good choice, Jamie. Okay, on to number 12 now. This is like the crisp part. You have to attack this. Onion rings. Yes, Jamie. No, Jamie. <laughs> yeah. Present for daddy. Thank you. No, that's Jamie. And Jojo felt quite rebellious in the crisp bar and decided to go for popcorn instead. Some proper corn. Uh, okay, number 13. So this was a drink style. I think it had waters and juices down there. And both fizzy ones. Jojo went for some good old frob scottle. And Jamie went for some schlur. Really like this. That's a perfect Christmassy drink. And neither of them are alcoholic, which is good. But we are heading to that area of the supermarket, I believe. Okay, number 14. We're on fire, guys. Keep it coming. So you got Ribena. Jojo, what did you get? I got the classic lemonade. Classic lemonade, yeah. So this was all fizzy drinks and soft drinks, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Nice choices, guys. Number 15, guys. Now this one was an alcohol aisle. 
And you got pistachio nuts. <laughs> it's like a Jojo. Remember seeing this, these were just hanging in on a rack where there was alcohol everywhere. So I was really happy that you found these. And both of you obviously make the sensible choice. Okay, number 16 now. I think this was also alcohol. We're a bit more stuck on this one. Jojo got some wine and you got some rose. Jojo's too young. To but I think wine. we I think we decided that these could just be gifts for other friends or family members for Christmas. It's more like I'm at like a 20-year-old mate at the pub. No, you're definitely not that. Okay, on to number 17. This was on the other side of the supermarket. Oh, potato waffles coming in. So yeah, frozen stuff. Jojo kind of regretted getting these because he thought, oh no, I've missed out on chips, but you're happy with your selection of Cornettos. These are delicious. And potato waffles, Jamie, always a favorite in this household. Thank you. Uh, number 18. So this was a lot of frozen stuff as well. And this was quite tricky as well because most of it was all meat. But what did you get? Garlic bread baguettes. Really? Oh, how did you miss that? I don't know what I'm complaining, it's coming to our household. I'm happy. And Jojo got some spring rolls, veggie spring rolls. Yeah, one of my favourite cooked foods. Number 19, what did you get? So Jamie got some tomato puree. Jojo got some baked beans. So this was all tin stuff and pastry things, I think, as well. Number 20 now. What's it? Oh, chestnut. Oh, Christmas is coming. And vinegar, this is how random this all is. 21. So Jojo, you got some fusilli pasta. Cool. Oh my goodness. Have you got... You've got the exactly the same one, but just like the parent version or something. Yeah, can we go out? No, son, don't be so few silly. Okay, number 22. This is my pet dog. Yeah, so this was a tricky aisle because, not that tricky. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tricky aisle because it had lots of pet things. So Jojo, when he originally tried this in Tesco's, went for the dog toy. What is this? And Jamie got some black bags, which I didn't even know existed down the aisle. Yeah, this would be a good present for our friend Jane, who's got a lovely little dog called Starla. Number 23, Jamie's ready to go, and she's got the e-cover colour laundry oh. concentrated detergent and another e-cover delicate laundry liquid. Our clothes are going to be nice and clean in this household. Number 24, Jojo's disappeared down there already. Another e-cover product and some tissues. In case you spill the e-cover product too close to your nose and it makes you sneeze. Look, we started on the non-food aisles and it was so hard. Do you know what? I was thinking about that and I was like, we're having it easy. But then when we part crossed you guys and we came to this, I was like, oh my goodness, what are we going to do? Luckily, we started there in Tesco, so we had a bit of practice. Number 25. This is getting a crowded table. Uh-oh. The it's sushi okay. packet's gone! It's an empty packet anyway. 25 was interesting because it was toilet rolls, but then Jojo also found magazines and he's found his Minecraft no. magazine. Oh my, there's no space for this. Put it on your head. Okay, just keep it here, shall we? Yeah. So yeah, it was mostly toilet rolls, but Jojo actually had some creative thinking and got oh, no, Minecraft no, no, no. magazines. Okay, number 26 now. So this is where we went into toiletries, isn't it? Ah, oh, white. Jojo got a lip balm as well, because you always know that mommy could do with one of those. Yeah. I've even got this toilet roll on my lap. Okay, number 27. So again, this is more toiletries. What did you get here? So you got a foam shower gel pineapple by Original Source, they're a really good brand. And also, Jojo, you got one, but mint and tea tree oil. You said that would be good for Sam, didn't you? Yeah. Because Sam likes that shower gel. Okay, we're nearly at the end, guys. 28, I think, 28 seemed for me was a, no, the things do not go in my head. What, what is this? So Jamie got cotton wool pleats, so cotton wool pads. She tried to get nappies for you. <laughs> nappies. Yeah, this was the baby aisle, so it had like nappies and baby food and toys. So Jojo thought he would treat himself to a rubber duck for his bath time. Yeah. Where are we on now? 29. So this is where we went back to fresh fruit and veg, I think. Oh, so you got more? Are these chestnuts? Yeah, no, they're not chestnuts, are they? They're pecan. No pecan. And Jojo got grapes. Quite a predictable pick from Jojo, I think. Next one is 30. And again, more fresh fruit and veg. So a bag of spinach. <laughs> what? What's wrong with you? <laughs> I was going to get a massive bag and mum said no, so I got one. Why? <laughs> Jojo's finished. He's, he's down on the floor now. <laughs> no, get it. I don't eat them raw. Comment below if you like sprouts or not. Most people don't like them and I, as a kid, didn't used to like them either. But when you mix them in with other things and a roast dinner, they're actually quite nice. I, I love it that you picked that. It's because it's such a weird thing to pick. And also, the fact that you picked only one. Yeah. This one. If you recover, right? I like it just sitting there on top. L the lady at the checkout, because only one person in her family likes sprouts, so she only buys like two at a time, three at a time, like we did. So Are you the one person that likes sprouts? No. No, you're not. Mum just said that you weren't going to eat them. And, and in comparison, Jojo got spinach, but I love sprouts. 
Brussels sprouts. Quite short. You know what? Brussels sprouts. <laughs> Brussels sprouts. <laughs> They're Brussels sprouts. Yeah, it's your brother. Uh, he's a sprout. Katie's got a brother called Russell, and now Jojo apparently thinks that he's the creator of sprouts. <laughs> anyway, we're on the last aisle now, 31. Not any more space. Fruit potty! Fruit pots already! <gasps> Jojo, Jamie got a bigger fruit pot than you. I'm disappointed. <gasps> Should we swap them around? <laughs> so well done guys, this has been a very busy and interesting and very haul. Have you enjoyed it? Mm -hmm. Yeah? What was your favourite thing you got to pick apart from the sprouts? It's the sprouts, of course it is. Well, my favourite oh. thing was this. The sweets? Yeah. God, but we only have a few of those at a time, yeah, in moderation. But of course it's down to you free game to say, who do you think did best at this challenge? Who do you think got the most interesting haul from all of the different aisles? So comment below, let us know. Do you think it was Jojo that won this one or did Jamie win this one? Look how smug she looks. I got a sprout. <laughs> <laughs> so that is it for today's video, guys. I hope you have enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for tuning in for another crazy shopping haul. Before we go, though, just want to give a shout out to one of you lovely free gang who has requested one. And today's shout out goes to Jill Holland. We love Jill Holland. You've watched our channel for such a long time. Thank you for sticking with us. And your comment is, I love going to the salon and getting a new look, especially during the changes of seasons from hot to cold and vice versa. I love your new look, Katie. We all do here. You're so gorgeous that any hairstyle and colour will look fabulous on you. Oh, that's so nice. And I agree as well. Thank you, Jill. <laughs> that's Katie's voice behind the camera. Can I please have a birthday shout out on or near my birthday of November 26th? Oh, happy birthday, Jill. Oh, happy birthday. Thank you so much, your family is so lovely and amazing. Oh, thank you Jill, really appreciate your comment. Happy birthday Jill. Yeah, we hope you have a great yeah. birthday. And if any of you guys ever want to shout out in an upcoming video, leave it in the comments below and we will try and get it done in the next video or video soon. And if any of you guys are new to this channel and you like seeing our fun shopping videos and how sprouts just emerge on their own and how we get thrown out of supermarkets because we're YouTubers, then we'd love it if you subscribed. And if you're already subscribed, don't forget to hit that notification bell to keep up to date with all our latest videos. And we will see you guys in the next video. Peace, Peace out. out! Bye! Wait,